Moving on. Perhaps your threat will keep him in line. Doubtful. Would you trust him? I'm not the one that has to. Also, trust isn't part of a watcher's vocabulary. Present company included, of course. Ugh, insufferable ghost. Hello, Vulgrim. Daddy! Oh, hello, Fury. You're looking radiant and flush with blood rage. I have no time for you, demon. No, no, you're a very busy horseman, with people to go and places to slay, I'm sure. But, I was wondering if in your bard-worthy travels, you happened across an artifact, nothing special. An artifact? What does it look like? Well, it's a trinket, really, a novelty crafted by the birds, sort of a cross with pointy edges and... I may have lied. It's not a trinket. But please, cut me a break. A demon has to eat. I found it. It's mine. I'll pay you a million souls for it. Souls are your currency. Sharp objects are mine. No deal. However, you might be of service to me. Have you seen the undead angels and demons? Ah, the unlike. Sadly, yes. Those who were once beyond mortality deserve better. Now, I have no lost love for the birds, but that's just wrong. We're done, then. If you hear anything, do let me know. Does nothing shake you? Do you not feel any empathy, watching those who once loomed so large robbed of the very force they sought to control? Life. Perhaps after I find out why they're trying to kill me, I'll make time to feel sorry for them. My, my, she's cold. Intoxicating. What a hot-headed demon that is. Literally has no point at all. Is it never referenced it later on in the game? <laughs> uh, that cutscene infuriates me because it serves zero purpose. Yeah, let's get stopped again later on. Yeah, so uh, salvation is kind of like mini redemption in the sense that you know you get multi targets and a pretty honestly one of my favorite weapons in game. Because we go through with multi target, uh, and you can charge up with a certain. Oh my god, the hollow ability you're using. So that's pretty good. So I'd rather fight the griffin there, honestly, than fight that thing for the time being. Ooh. Ooh, mama, that was good. Damn. Obscurious enchantment. Awesome. Uh, let me actually look at that real quick. Just because I'm curious. Uh, Havoc generation and evade invincibility window. Eh, that's, that's okay. That is not something I would go ahead and... Give the salvation. Now, see, this is mostly what salvation is for: is to take out those little drones and the hives. Yes, yeah, so the reason why it tells you that is because flame hollow is going to be utilized right there to progress. I jumped way too soon by somehow stuck the landing. So there we go, on the side. And those cars just spawned in. Ugh, this game. Mostly this section is just so many problems.
At least with the technical side of things. Alright, he's dead now. I think you're pretty good. Just to boost my own ego. Alright, so our second major centralized hub. Jumped way too soon. Now, unfortunately, both these guys are like enemies in Destiny where the second they they like battling each other, but the second they see you, it's all out war on who can kill you the fastest. I somehow was able to go ahead and take those sons of bitches on. So, right here, our objective is to get that little squid boy over there so we can get on the bridge and go to Lust. Sounds simple. Problem is though, we can't get over there. So we begin, technically speaking, a little mini run through dungeon. I don't know. They skin doesn't have technical dungeons. There, which is what matters. <laughs> Alright then. So in here we go. Okay, down here we go. There we go. Because it's all mapped to the same button. It's very aggravating. It's just for the time being, but we'll worry about that later. Lust army of the undead is everlasting. Busy little sin. Okay, I see how things are. Alright, just gonna go El Tornado. Oh, come, come the f f What the hell? Where'd you come from? I need to kill him. There we go. All right, there we go. Dang, that was tough. Ah, apologies about that. That room can be very fickle sometimes. It's like just the multiple enemy really gets to you. Now then, this guy, at all intents and purposes, is a mini boss. Ah. I don't even know what the heck this guy's technical name is. I just know for a fact that he is a tough cookie. There we go. And they also explode when they die. At least I thought they did. I don't know. We'll see more of them later. Flip this switch here. There we go. Just to make transportation easy. Pick up this little tyke here. Chuck him right there. Got him. Alright then. We're gonna come over here. Oh wow, look at that giant tentacle. That's very creepy. Hmm. 
Hopefully we won't have to fight that thing anytime soon. Nightmare was that. Now I can't wait to find out. That was sarcasm? Mistress? Well, now we know Fury's into technical stuff. So we can go ahead and bond over our shared love of hentai. Up here. Ow. See, those guys are pretty, pretty weak. Uh, things up here? Yeah, should be. Yes. There we go. This should be an artifact. Yeah, so artifacts are definitely the harder things to find, and definitely are things you gotta go out of your way for. But ultimately, you know, since they help upgrade your weaponry, they are worth it. Okay, don't... That was very odd. That has never happened to me before. Huh. Well, they just have this pit down here for like no discernible reason whatsoever. There's a pit. This way. Now we can't kill those guys from the ceiling. I'm personally not going to because they spawn in themselves. Okay, sure. Alright, run back this way. Now, I thought that was a correct way. I guess I'm wrong, which is the way. We go this way, actually. Yep. There's the vent. Alright, so now we come here. No? Okay then, um... Cause that's Force Hollow stuff. I only get Force Hollow after I kill Gluttony. Which... <laughs> I got this guy. Just take it. What, what, what is this? All right, cool, cool. Give me this. <laughs> God, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Nothing really new, because I couldn't see this pipe. God, I hate myself. Okay, moving on back on track here. So I believe what you do... Flip it down. Dash in here. Ah, uh, 
good lord. Alright, up there. Actually, I wasn't on there for half an hour at all, but I was on there for at least like 20 minutes. Right, get his attention. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. There you go. And like, as always with these little bastards, chuck him here. Here's your pathway. I feel really stupid. Okay, so we're gonna whack you. That should be a good area. Uh, real quick. You open up. So that way what we do is we take you and blow you up. So now what we can do is, I think we should be in the clear. Although I'm not so certain about this. Yes, we're good. Because there we go. Boom. <laughs> hit him again. Oh, hit him again. So it's kind of moving the general direction I wanted to, so that's good. Up here on the bridge. Alright then. So, bridge. And then just fight enemies, basically. That's the gist of it. I wonder what that is. It's aware of our presence. I have no doubt, especially considering the way you care. There in a second. So Volgi's here. What this will be fun for both of us, as you wish. <laughs> Inside the ship we go. Because yeah, this this because we're gonna be fighting both Plenty in his squid form and. You mind? I'm trying to explain something to my audience. What do you mean to shut up? God. Baby. <gasps> Before we go over there, because I'm willing to believe that's certain death. Are you serious? Well, second thought, I think we should go the other way. No. In fact, your shrieking clearly acts as a lullaby. Yes. Sarcasm. Which of you is worse? I won. Oh. To your knees. Or, you know, I'm just actually back in the beginning. Because let's be honest here. That's not true. This this game has plenty of fans, myself included. <sighs> Kinky. <gasps> there we go. Inferno. Dun dun dun. Big boy up there, we're gonna go take him out real quick. Just get through here, thanks. Get the switch. Coolio, get the stretch. Um, Hollywood, Jackson, Mississippi. Number nine. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get taken by the giant squid real quick here. So, 
this fight. Location, is it? Have you learned nothing? Appearances can be deceiving. Besides, lust never appears as expected. What exactly did you mean by that? The notion of sin is one thing, the concept of lust is something else entirely. Especially humanity's concept of lust. I see. As in, a lust for. You name it. The humans have quite the imagination. Lust is everything to everyone. That's what makes lust dangerous. Too dangerous, mistress? No such thing. Now, I was going to have an epic walk of that. I saw these two flames and I instantly wanted them. All right, in here, and now it is time to combat lust with a lengthy cutscene. Can you guess what I lust after in this broken world? What is left to want? Power. Hmm. I always thought you were the smart one. Pity. To what do I owe this distinct pleasure? After all, to be visited by a fabled horseman. I have but one purpose here. Uh, must we engage in violence? You already have my respect. I have no interest in your respect. Just your head! Come now, Fury. I am no barbarian like the others. No, we need not meet as enemies a second time. Tell it to the Charred Council. <laughs> they aren't here. So instead, I tell you, Queen of the Horsemen, powerful, armed with the flame hollow, a crossblade, your fabled whip. I am above your distractions, lust. Really, the truth is often distracting when one lives a lie. You speak as though we are natural enemies. Why must this be so? I know my role in the universe. I wonder if you've ever stopped to question yours. You are a horseman. Mm. But why did you make that choice? And if so, was there some reasoning behind it? Shut up and fight! You don't even know why you fight, do you? Hmm. Do you fight for your brothers? Oh, of course not. Your antagonism towards them is well known. Do you seek to achieve some sort of balance? Oh, you never believed in the greater good until it suited you. No, no, no. What I see in your actions is a lust all your own. A lust for power, and privilege, and protection from the Nephilim's inevitable fall. Ultimately, that makes us allies, doesn't it? Stand down, Fury. Death, what are you, all of you, doing here? Are we not four horsemen united? We are here to confirm that the mission is complete. Mm. The mission? The other sins have been destroyed by my hand. Death worked to free war and clear his name. More importantly, we have exposed a great conspiracy. What conspiracy? Heaven and Hell working in secret consort to bring about the apocalypse earlier than anyone would wish for. 
The Charred Council has dispatched us, together, to wreak havoc on both sides. Balance will be restored. The wicked will be punished. You mean... all of this? We are to unseat the rulers of both sides. And in honor of your unwavering loyalty to the cause, the Council has decreed that you will lead the Horsemen. You, Fury, will usher in a new age on Earth. Of course. Finally, everything makes some sort of divine sense. It does? Mistress, is this not everything you wanted? Finally come to you. Set aside the past, sister. Today, we live in service to you. I will be done. This is not real! Uh, what? Oh. It was worth a shot. You think you know me so well? Is it not what you want most? Hmm? The power to lead in the manner you see fit. What was an illusion could soon be reality. If you set aside the wants of others and focus on yourself, ultimately, it is your choice to make. So choose. You should not have made them near! God, that's such a long cutscene. That feeling, that one you're in right now, that true lust. Oh, it feels nice, doesn't it? Ah. God, I both love and I hate that cutscene. But absolute power. Crushes the self-righteous to death. Like, I love that cutscene because you know we get to see all four horsemen, and honestly, we get to see a reality that can very much so be real. But you know, I also hate that cutscene because it's so ungodly long. You won't accept my generosity, but you dally with angels. I'm a fan. Of course I get it as as the midpoint of the battle comes up. Let fall the blades of heaven. An archangel. Oh, you seal, you flatter me. I'll see you dead, lust. Never to rise again. <laughs> we had a deal. Stand down. Now why would he do that? When he knows a deal with you isn't half as appealing as a deal with me. Don't listen! I can return your sweet little angels to their former glory. Yes, if you just protect me from this terrible woman. Ocille! And won't it be glorious when you march back to the gates of heaven with your numbers restored? Ah, shut up! And restore truth and righteousness to that befouled place. Your truth, Archangel you see. Heaven under your command. Wouldn't that be lovely? The Seventh Legion. Alive and whole. Restoring glory. Our deal is revoked. No, Ocille! <laughs> Won't this be fun? So I'm gonna go ahead and spare you, Seal, here. If, you know, the game's gonna allow me. Unfortunately, you know, the game decided to go on ahead and... gonna do here is we're just gonna go nuts on lust there we go who can 
give you the power to raise the dead. <laughs> the one constant in the universe. Those who possess the most power inevitably crave more. Lust is everlasting. As for who? Know this. I was merely a pawn. A feeling you know all too well. Fury. The angels who killed your steed. Pawns as well. Then who? Tell me! <laughs> the players in that game will reveal themselves in time. What if I reveal something even more valuable? Hmm? Spare me, and I'll give up the location of my fellow sin. Envy. And why would you do that? What reason would I have to protect that sniveling coward? Hmm? She has never experienced frontline combat. She has never experienced the horrors of war. She is the most pathetic of us. Get me to the edge of Haven, and what you want will be yours. An attractive offer. <laughs> but I'm tired of your kind underestimating my intelligence. I'll find the rest of the sins by myself. At your core, you were just an endless void that could never be filled. How disappointing. Think not. Mistress! Lust's call to power is intoxicating. Even more so when one is fueled by grief. Usil's transgression can be forgiven. Once. I have a better understanding of what's happened to the Earth and what's at stake because of it. You're of no use to me, dead. If we are to survive, all of us, Alliances must be made. An alliance? With him? I... don't know what to say. Say that you'll return the favor. I may soon need it. My word may hold no weight. But my life is yours, Fury. If I learn of any plotting against you, I will relay the information. Did I just witness mercy shown to a filthy angel? You just as soon have your head on a pike. Are you or are you not a watcher? Because you should know better. This quest we're on is about balance in the world and within me, it seems. Lust showed me what I could become. It is not what I want to be. And what do you want to be? <sighs> I think... That's what I'm here to find out. <laughs> curious. Very curious indeed. With each new challenge, you show more depth. What do you want? Both you and I are painfully aware of the endless parade history inflicts upon us. Creatures so pathetically focused on one single purpose. But these creatures are, ironically, completely devoid of meaning. Make your point, Lord of Hollows. It's just surprising. No. Refreshing to see something headed in the opposite direction. You are coming into a greater awareness of the flaws that kept you in chains. Flaws? Shall I list them? No, thank you. I've seen enough recently to know they are many. Which is exactly why I give you this. And by holding it, the raw power of force itself is yours. It vibrates in my hand. 
I don't understand. <laughs> when the time comes, you will know when and how to use it. No, not yet! <laughs> 